Okay, selamat kembali ke FTV hari ni kita ada kereta yang sangat special. This is probably the hottest selling car in Thailand right now with 6,000 bookings in 48 hours. Dan kereta ni sebenarnya dah ada kat Malaysia lama juga ni kereta ni. Ni pun buat R&D lah kereta ni. Dan uh, this is the Aura Good Cat. Dan Aura Good Cat ni kalau kita tengok dalam minggu ni, dia orang dah release dekat UK. So, bertimpa-timpa lah review duk keluar. Dan uh, banyak ada walk, belum belum driving review lah kita, banyak walk around video dulu. So, walk around video yang kita tengok kat UK, banyak yang puji dia punya design. Dan saya daripada mula lagi tengok kereta ni dekat internet pun, dah jatuh cinta lah dengan dia punya shape. Although some people might say dia copy ke apa ke, but copy is not necessarily a bad thing. So, dia tak ada look like any kind of car yang ada kat luar sana, cuma dia ada features dari beberapa classic and timeless designs. So, sebagai contoh kita mula daripada depan lah. Bila kita mula daripada depan, kita tengok dia menggunakan lampu bulat lah. So, lampu bulat ni is more like uh, designs daripada mungkin 80-an dan 70-an. Dan yang ini kita tengok lampu bulat ni dia punya ala-ala Porsche sikit lah nak kata tu. And it's not strange because dia punya designer memang used to work for Porsche. Dan uh, kita tengok kereta ni memang direka bentuk untuk comel tapi ada sikit uh, muscular punya overtone. So, for example, kita tengok dia letak di strips lah on the bonnet so di strips on the bonnet ni memang uh, nampak gives it a bit of muscle and a bit of character and I also like this small features which the, the the new kind of car designers from Korea and China suka guna macam this thing lah like textures peeking out so this is a very nice touch and it's becoming more and more popular and I like that uh, from the underbreather Uh, it's nice and neat. I don't like cars with big underbreather and because it's an electric car, you don't need big underbreather anyway. And that's nice, very nice, neat. And a little bit of chrome to just give it some highlights. And yeah, some cooling for the air conditioning and whatnot. Rim dia agak plain sikit. A bit like uh, one of those uh, rim yang macam tahun 90-an, 2000 macam. You know those five spoke yang nampak macam trying to look friendly like a teddy bear punya rim lah atau macam tu lah style dia tak kira but it works with the whole car because the whole car has this cute outlook dan kereta ni warna apa ni lah ha? apa dia panggil warna dia ni uh, boleh katakan beige lah so dia ada beige dengan macam bronze. brown bronze punya roof lah so that's uh, quite a nice color combination dan bila kita tengok kat belakang it becomes even more interesting to me lah I rasa this is even more interesting kat belakang ni because it's so clean there's hardly even any lights Ni dia punya brake light kat sini eh? Hmm? Ni brake lights eh? Hmm, tengah, tengah sekali. Oh, ni apa? Dia rasanya dia punya yang fog lamp kot. Oh, okay. So, dia punya turn signal lah? Turn signal dia... Tu, kalau saya tunjuk ha. boleh terus. Ha. Ni tekan hazard light je tengok dia keluar kat mana. Oh, signal dia kat bawah eh. So, kat bawah tu signal dia. So, yang putih tu reverse lamp. Dan the, the brake light is kat atas ni. So, it's a very nice and neat design. Something yang very different. So, kita, kali ni kita start pada belakang pula. Ah, that's the brake light. The whole of the back tu is the brake light. Cuma dia sekali buat. Sekali lagi. Ah. Okay. Interesting that they just break it up. Uh, whatever reason, it looks interesting. I was half expecting for it to like move to the side. Uh, okay, kereta ni juga fokus dia clearly is about the interior space and not so much about the boot space. The boot space is kind of uh, a bit a bit uh, limited but again, pada saya, uh, baik ada limited boot space and comfortable cabin, then ada comfortable cabin, uh, then ada uh, large boot tapi cabin sempit. Eh, oh bukan, sorry dia tak ada power closing. Alright, jom kita masuk dalam kejap. Kita start dengan dia punya pintu lah Jadi Untuk aura ni Kalau kita tengok Clearly this car is not It's not designed to be uh, To be perceived as an economical car I think this is the sort of idea Where you nak try to achieve luxury for all A kind of an apple kind of idea Where you try to find a good balance Between a price and uh, features and also materials being used that's that seem to be the same uh, approach for a lot of the new electric cars where you try to create a car that nampak premium but uh, at a price that is still 
more affordable than what the Europeans are offering. So when you look at it, of course, uh, warna is a very important, uh, plays a very important role. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, in some of the reviews from Europe, they tell kalau warna-warna yang tutu ni is the premium punya uh, option, but the standard car gets the same material but just one color, single color, black. Tak silap saya lah. Tapi kita ada yang ni je lah. Uh, so dia punya material kat sini soft touch. You get uh, leather red ke leather ke? And this is also leather red with diamond stitching. And this is ada uh, wood effect. It's plastic but it's wood effect. And kita tengok kat sini dia punya speaker panel uh, has some nice kind of uh, design to it. Dan uh, bila kita tengok kat sini kita mula dia buat this vents ni. To me benda-benda kecil macam ni kita tengok kita kita akan nampak dia punya effort lah. Bila dia try nak match this vent color to the finishing kat sini. So maksudnya they have to uh, mold this in many many colors. I don't know however many colors they have for this. So they have to mold this in different colors to match this. So that makes just the, the, the construction a bit more complicated and that's cost but they do it. And that's interesting because that makes the car look premium. And this plastic metal color ni is fairly decent lah. And still ada macam little chrome surround kat sini. Ni apa? Uh, fuse box. So fuse box. Dan ini sih the seat, and this is the seat controller. Uh, very simple, but four way lah kau ni ya. Eh? Mm. So this is a simple four way uh, uh, electric seat. Dan this is the uh, steering lever uh, release, steering release. Oh ada only rake adjustment, tak ada reach adjustment. There's an auto uh, headlamp, auto high beam ni. Mm. So that's the auto high beam and uh, instrument cluster. It's packed together lah in one uh, binnacle lah like well, but it's two separate screen kat dalam tu it's two separate screen you can see it. there's one here and there's another one over here but it's in one binnacle besar punya and that makes it very neat and very nice and kita tengok kat tengah ni masih lagi cantik lah kemasan metal ni even the airbag label is in uh, chrome uh, plastic dan kat bawah ni kita tengok di macam mungkin kau kata tiru mini sikit lah but still it's a very nice way of doing it it's not so straightforward copy it's not such a straightforward copy that they stylize sikit lah dia punya the way that they arrange uh, the toggle buttons ni and kat bawah ni ada dua USB plus one dua belas volts yang ni wireless ke ni hmm. and it's a wireless charging pad kat bawah ni see oh very nice Uh, dua cup holder and bila kita tengok dia punya center console it's a rotary dial macam biasa dan rotary dial ni ada uh, it's, it's, it's molded lah this is not uh, machine knurling but still it's a nice knurling here that makes it look interesting and electronic park brake ada dua wireless saja ke? Hmm? ni? itu untuk key what do you mean? Ah, uh, dia punya key detector kalau bateri low ke apa? Oh, ni bukan wireless saja. Bukan. Yang itu wireless saja. Oh, sila sila. Ni wireless saja itu dia punya Itu untuk key. Key. Ah, so okey. Situ tempat key detector ni dia punya wireless saja. Hmm. Saya ingat ada dua wireless saja tadi. Macam overkill, but ada satu je. Dan uh, kereta ni memang uh, sesuai untuk orang Malaysia dan orang Asia pasal dia dah ada tarik hook. So nak pi ke mamak, boleh bawa balik dia tarik. And there's a Damp Ada damping tu huh. Given the price in China I'm quite surprised Mereka ada damping But in Europe Price dia Is 25,000 euro uh, 25,000 Yeah In Europe It's about 25,000 euro So Dia punya price Is uh, ID3 punya price uh, But in China It's much cheaper So Clearly They are not positioning this car as uh, as like cheapo car for Europe and everything is nicely damp and there's a large sunroof panoramic glass roof There's a separate switch there. Nampaknya ini boleh buka. That makes nice. That 
nice, nice. So in Thailand, this car is being sold for between 100 and 20 yeah. Uh, 120 and 150,000 ringgit. 130,000 ringgit max. 130,000 ringgit max. max. The cheaper one, berapa? 100k. So, in Thailand, this car is being sold between 100 and 130,000 ringgit. Kalau kita lah. So, if you imagine this car here at the same price, you're getting all this kit. I think it's a no-brainer. I think that's why 6,000 Thais place booking on this car. Uh, before it was launched within 48 hours so this is this is mental and okay now let's look at the features on the steering wheel uh, ni siap ada gambar kamera aku pening kepala tengok aku tak faham camera apa ni? dia camera untuk front camera maksudnya? dia boleh take, uh, tangkap gambar still picture? yeah bila you tengah drive je tekan je if I remember correctly yes but apa tu so imagine this one Kalau kita tampak orang buat benda pelik-pelik kan? Selalu kita susah nak ambil gambar kan So now kita boleh tekan ni And you can have the picture Especially orang yang masuk lorong kecemasan Aku suka lah ambil gambar Dapat tu bagi kat JPJ So kalau ada benda ni bagus lah kan? Ni sebelah sini semua nampak macam function Untuk phone and entertainment And on this side uh, it, this is obviously cruise control, set and resume mm -hmm. And here is lane tracking rasanya mm -hmm. steering. Dan ini ialah Transit. untuk adjust the distance between you and the car in front mm -hmm. So that means that this car is adaptive cruise Yes Sampai stop start uh, Yes, sampai stop Sampai stop start brother, 130 kereta elektrik Panoramic roof mm. Sun roof This This and this interior, if they bring it in at the same price as the ties offer it, tak menang tangan aku rasa kot. People who buy Honda Civic semua lari sini lah kot. Aku tak tahu lah. But I don't know how people in Malaysia perceive electric car for now. But I'm completely head over heels. And I'm not mistaken, this is like facial recognition kan? Yes. Untuk apa tu facial recognition ni? If for, kalau tengah drive, pandang tempat lain, hmm. dia akan tegur. Okay, so ini untuk driver awareness. So this hmm. this uh, face camera untuk driver awareness, dia infrared lah? Pasti infrared. So likely dia pakai infrared lah. Kalau tidak malam, susah dia nampak muka kita. And there is another one here. Ni untuk apa? It's another camera here. Yang tu. So there are two cameras here. Uh, there's one here and there's one over there. This is special recognition. I don't know what this is. I mean, they have two cameras lah, basically. And... Then I'm going lampu ni. Lampu LED, nice. Okay, jom kita duduk seat belakang sekejap. Kasi aku duduk adjust ni. Tengok dia punya driving position semua. Okay, the floor is a little bit... Uh, the seat is a little bit low, but I'm okay with that. Untuk seat depan tak kisah Pasal kita boleh larang depan belakang And let's see, let's see Let me find my comfortable position okay, This is about my comfortable position And clearly this is a small car This is what? Segment B car uh, Kalau ada masalah ergonomik Aku boleh ketuk kepala designer dia Sebuah benda aku boleh capai lah Tak ada masalah uh, So now kita tengok With my sitting here Belakang macam mana Kalau tadi kita Kalau sebelum ni kita tengok Aura black cat pun lap, belakang lapang Yang ni patutnya lapang juga lah Jom Okay, daripada kita tengok aja ni kita dah nampak lah memang belakang ni lapang lah. <coughs> okay. So, first kali I do like kereta ni warna cream interior. Tapi ni a nightmare for families lah. So, I don't know whether if you have a family ada budak-budak kecil you akan sanggup ambil kereta ni ke tidak. Tapi kalau you anak-anak cermat Memang this is a very 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 nice interior uh, Ada saya ada kawan seorang pakai DS5 Interior putih Tapi dia anak perempuan dia orang So tak apalah dia cermat kan Boleh sangat-sangat lah And this look at the space is quite quite okay It's quite quite okay Cuma Tak ada cuma Semua okay Dia punya seat squat pun okay Maybe the seat is slightly ever so slightly low But I'm I'm not complaining it's, it's, it's very very manageable Then the headrest punya position untuk belakang ni Then uh, the rear headrest position is very nice It's very comfortable And there is no complaint 
Bang. Hmm. Apa kata you bawa kita pusing-pusing Zat? Boleh.